Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay. It's time to get back into our Battlecry 2 Iron Man campaign. Not too far from another level. Quick look at our stats and let's jump right in. And fortunately we did not get another event. It's time now. Looks like Sundered Isle has changed hands. I'm pretty sure the orcs had it last time. Although doesn't really matter who owns it because, of course, hopefully by the end of uh, by the end of this video, it will belong to us. Let's just go straight in. Uh, we're gonna be uh, playing with the Minotaurs, and of course, we're gonna go in with as many retinue points as we possibly can. Not quite enough to take these two and also an Archon. So let's think about what else we could do and guess we might as well just... Uh, do we want to take a Shaman against demons? I mentioned at the end of the uh, last video that this might be uh, a battle that forces us to do things a bit differently. One thing we might have to do differently is obviously being demons they're gonna have a lot more fire resistance. You know what? Let's let's take a shaman anyway. They'll have a lot of units that aren't immune to fire, but they're resistant. So fire damage is still gonna work, and you know what? We could just stick this guy in a tower. If it's not working out, we'll just I don't know. Do something else with him. But I think that's the way to go. Or, you know what, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. There we go. The game is working fine. Every time I accidentally minimize it, I'm worried that I'm going to cause it to crash. But let's not worry about that. Let's just... Pause the game, of course, we've got our three Dwarf Lords, which may help us out quite a bit. Let's just move them off to the side here. Let's also start off getting our starting units. Let's just put this guy in that tower over there and, of course, start off building our base with our two Ziggurats. One there and one here. Why not? This one's going to be... Upgrading, this one's gonna have thralls on continuous production. And I'm not gonna be taking any chances with my hero because our enemy could be a necromancer, uh, sorry, a, a pyromancer. Could have all kinds of nasty high damage spells. Although I will see what quest the shrine has for us, assuming. It's not a trap. Okay, a riddle. Uh, sturdy back, legs... Uh, could be a, a chair, I think. Oh! Don't necessarily want uh, pixies, but... This actually isn't that bad, because we can put a couple of them in this front tower and one each in uh, these towers that'll raise their damage and they'll also uh, raise the towers range and it'll also change the damage type so now it's magic damage which is probably gonna be more useful although this is still fire damage because the uh, minotaur shamans thing is over uh, overriding the pixies effect on the tower. Alright, now we've got to build a, a lookout. Because we do have fog of war on this map. And we'll immediately pay for that upgrade. Oh, and we have a bridge here with undead units. Interesting. With some very high level undead units. These uh, 
Doom Knights are the best infantry that they can have. And I expect, I suspect that if we'd gone in there with anything other than Minotaur Kings, we would have had a very rough time. Very rough time indeed. Not a lot for our Dwarf Lords to do. I'm sure I'll, I'll take a, an ore mine even though ore isn't, or metal, which you get from uh, ore mines, isn't really uh, a vital resource. Never really, never had a shortage of metal as uh, the Minotaurs. We've gotten that level one crystal mine. So, you know what we sh should probably do is use these guys to explore, use our Minotaur Kings to see what's going on. Oh, 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 more undead. More undead. And an undead hero, in fact. An illusionist. So can kind of fight these guys in a in a controlled way meaning if we can draw them out fight them without the towers interfering then I think we could do a pretty good job breaking through Next, I think now we should start focusing on some uh, stone as our resource. Ooh, another thing that I haven't been doing. I uh, took both of those hits from that tower because I didn't quite kill that lich quickly enough. Alright. Another thing that I haven't been doing, which I really should be doing. I could just heal my Minotaur Kings rather than doing fire elementals because it's demons. They're not going to be as useful. So instead of fire elementals, what I'll do is uh... oh, we should also bear in mind that we also have resist fire so we can also make our units immune to fire. Definitely something to consider. Especially after we're done breaking through. Uh, let's see. Ooh, one thing. One thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up there, and I'm gonna cast Soul Flame on these guys because right now they are very slow because they're they've got. Very, very little experience. Hopefully, Soul Flame gives them a bit of extra. Yes, it does. Gave them five more experience, which gave them one more level. I think that one more level gave them one more point of speed, so that was that was worth doing. Now I'm gonna send you guys back in there. Let's carry on with these upgrades. Carry on with that, and let's heal our guys a little bit more as well. Uh, with the cauterize. Ooh, I think that's our quick spell, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, our quick spells carry over. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, excuse me, what? Uh... Ooh, the red guys already... Well, they must have started with this as their retinue. There's no way they would have a general this early. But yeah, we need to, we need to deal with this. Okay, that's their general taken care of. That should set them back a little bit. Your troops are under attack. What is... Excuse me? That must be their hero, a death knight. Okay, okay. 
this is it. This is the moment of truth. If we can take these guys down early. And they are spoiling for a fight. Okay. I know I said I'm not going to spam fire elementals, but... I kind of think they would still be useful. I'm going to get this guy out so that you can cast a pillar of fire. And you've got no mana left. Alright, alright. You go inside that tower. This is very hectic. Are you fire immune? No, but you've got a lot of resistance. Alright. Okay, we need to. I'm gonna save at this point. Let's try and take down their hero. That didn't work. Did we? We did a lot of damage to him, but we didn't land the lucky critical hits that we needed. Oh. And he is landing critical hits all over the place. Man, okay. Wow, look at this. Look at this guy. Come on, man. Okay, that went a little bit better. But now our guys are on fire, which is not good. All right, we'll cauterize, put out the fire that's on them. Hopefully, if not, then it's fine, I guess. And now, what? Well, we, we should get that for the oh. And while your units are on fire, they will just wander around and potentially get themselves into trouble. So we've got that to deal with. Now... Your buildings are under attack. Research complete. And now they're throwing a tantrum trying to destroy our mines. Alright, good. Good for them. I'm just gonna let that mine go down. Because I want to heal up my Minotaur Kings and try and break through... Try and break through the middle here. And then hopefully do something about their uh, base if we can get to it. If there isn't a whole other set of barricades between us and them. And ooh, one thing I have not been doing is I haven't been getting my scouting research, which really shouldn't be slacking on. Alright. Used up all my mana for healing. This is a ve very, very tense battle. You guys, I thought I told you to convert that, but obviously I didn't. Let's see what this shrine has for us now. 1500 stone, no thanks. No thanks. Your troops are under attack. Okay. Also, we need to change these guys uh, from being aggressive to being defensive. And uh, I think. Oh, whoa, what's what's this? Okay. See, so one thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna see whether these dwarf lords are able to withstand hits from these towers. I suspect that they won't be able to. I suspect that the. This guy's walking a long, long way. Oh, and this... Uh, okay. We've run into... We 
you've run into imps. So. And this guy is following our dwarf lords all the way there, so we need to do something about that. How much mana do you have? Okay. I guess perhaps fire elementals are going to be useful after all if they're going to be sending imps after us, which are really annoying because our dwarf lords can't attack them. Ugh, this is... This is very complicated. Alright, we need to take this guy down because he was getting way too close. Alright, now let's see if our dwarf lords... Are... Oh my god, these imps. Man, these imps. Oh, and look at this. Obviously, we're not going to be able to deal with that. Not without... Not without some way of uh, dealing with these undead guys. So that has really complicated things quite a bit. New buildings are available. I think. I think we're doing okay. Let's get a head start on our. Uh, Minotaur shamans. Master? Your troops are under attack. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Where, where did I send my dwarf lords? I, I put them inside here. Okay. We're off then. All right. This is a. Uh, White. Oh my god, what is going on? This is not good. At all. Not good at all. There's stuff over there, there's stuff over here. Hmm. Uh, we may have to pull the plug on this because. Actually, no, we're doing okay. We're just gonna have to... Well, our Minotaur... Oh my god, hang on. Alright, how are we gonna... How are we gonna deal with this? Okay, this is really, really far back. This is really far back. Uh, this... Game. All right, we've lost a lot of time, but we killed their hero, right? Oh no, this is this was us fighting their hero. Oh, never mind. Your troops are under attack. New buildings are available. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this again. All right. Oh my God. Okay. New buildings are available. Okay. <sighs> what a what an awful hero for them to have, Death Knight. Okay, now let's save. Now let's change their stance back to defensive, and hopefully this guy doesn't burn to death. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to heal our... How are we going to deal with that very large attack that we now know is going to be coming our way pretty soon? It's a very good question. Hmm. Very good question indeed. Obviously, we're gonna need Minotaur shamans, so let's get this. Your troops are under attack. Oh my 
god, what are you guys doing? Idiots. Alright. And rather than spending mana points on healing, I know it's a bit expensive, but I'm gonna build a pen. Because I think having fire elementals... Oh no, except that fire elemental... You know what, I'm gonna load the game again because I don't like how this went. Because I don't like the fact that we lost that fire elemental. And this time our Minotaur Kings even got out of it with a few more uh, HP. Alright. So. Alright, yeah, let's raise the speed back to medium. Alright. We need to do this. We are getting that. Once again, we need to tell these guys to get this level 1 quarry. And now it's all about withstanding their attacks. At least long enough that we get far seeing. And I'm, I'm gonna build a. Oh my god, I've got every single time. I, you lost so much health for no reason. For literally no reason. I've got to set you to defensive again. Let me let me check something. Do I have to do this every single time I load the game? Okay, no. That, at least, is preserved. Now, I'm gonna build a pen. <sighs> okay, okay. With sheep on continuous production, so at least they can heal while we are uh, while we're uh, saves coming some fire elementals and it's unfortunate that we lost that tower down there no, 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 no. stay inside here please how much mana 27 okay and the New armies are quarry still hasn't been filled up again. Okay, this is this is what happens when Your you have troops are under attack. And bringing these guys back because we are gonna need them, as we've learned. And our. Uh, I kind of want to build another tower to the south, but I can't afford it. I simply cannot afford it. Alright, let's switch positions. Why do you guys still have that burning animation? Not... You're not... Taking fire damage, I guess that's just a it's just a thing. It's like a graphical glitch that we're gonna have to worry about. All right. Not. Oh my god. Hang on. Come on. There we go. Get back in the tower. So three fire elementals now. And our Minotaur Kings are doing okay. Now we're finally getting level four uh, again. All right. All right, I think we might be able to do this. All right. Now our quarry is full, we need to start putting people into the crystal mine. Okay. There's their giant attack. Let's even bring our hero out. All 
All right. If we can get through this attack, I think we'll be fine. Keeping a close eye on my hero's health. All right, I think the key there was using our hero. Because we were able to get some lucky assassinations and we were able to keep our units from taking a whole lot of damage. Oh, this guy's on fire again. Okay, we're gonna get level 4 pretty soon. And then after that we're gonna have to start getting... Uh, Minotaur shamans. We even need to. We still need to get our far seeing upgrade. Like, we basically need everything. We basically need everything. What I'll do first, though, is. Hmm. Are you guys getting experience? Should I cast Soul Flame on the Fire Elementals or should I just spam more Fire Elementals? I think... Because Soul Flame is only 6 mana, I'll wait until I have 5 Fire Elementals and then I'll cast Soul Flame on them all at once. Alright, but... The 4 of those... And now, finally, let's get far-seeing. Oh boy, this is really rough. This is really, really rough. Now we've got to build a henge. Oh, we want to build a build a henge here. Um, I, I don't really need more stone. I do need more crystal. Oh, no, but this crystal mine still hasn't been a fully leveled out. Okay. And build me this. Just for that upgrade. We don't have the money for that either. Man, this is such a tense fight. Alright, we also need this, and we need shamans continuously produced. Alright. Alright, let me send one of my Minotaur Kings down here, because we haven't seen what mines there are. Oh, these guys. These guys with their towers. Okay. So this is definitely going to help us, this level 2 crystal mine. Quarry, I think we're past the point where we really need it. We do, however, want to keep getting f fire elementals. Not, not quite ready. Another one just yet. Okay, well, let's get this upgrade. Alright, get into that mine. And then when that mine is full, we don't really need sheep anymore. Research complete. How close are we to far seeing? Your troops are under attack. Get, getting the air, oh my god. Alright, we need to get our hero out again. Get our Minotaur King to safety. God, here it is taking damage, so we can't just sustain this indefinitely. But your hero is under attack. Well, we did some good work. All right, all right, all right. Now let's build another henge. Research complete. Now is where the fight back comes. Here we go. 
I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring out my hero one more fire elemental sure now let's heal All right, all right. Things are looking okay. All right, here's what we're dealing with. Here's what we're dealing with. Now, at least we can see the map, and at least we can see in advance where their attacks are going to be coming. That's going to help us out a lot. Minotaur shamans as well are gonna help us out, although it'll be less useful because they're already building another tower there. That's Your buildings are under attack. that's a little absurd. Hang on. What? Oh, okay, they sent a. They sent an imp. That's another issue. These guys have pretty nasty flying units that can do some serious damage to you. But at least it gave... Oh, okay, and I've got to stop producing sheep again. Oh my god, just... What am I going to do with these sheep? I don't even know. Uh, I guess my hero can... Use them to get some health. Alright. And I've destroyed this tower. Yes, just destroy this gold mine. Oh, sorry, this quarry, because otherwise they're going to be building another tower. And what else? Nothing really that we would need down there. Alright. One other thing that we kind of need is an ironworks. Just build it there if you can get there. Alright. Because we need our armor bonuses. Pretty urgently. I'm also gonna build another henge. Yes, master. Serve only you, master. Because we need our Minotaur shamans to carry us through this. 100%. And need to see where and when their next big attack is going to be coming. And Your troops are under attack. Be in position ahead of time. All right. Good job, Dwarf Lord. Hopefully we can take you into our retinue. Yeah, let's put more people into that crystal mine, and now let's stop building thralls. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Okay. What I might do is I'll wait for them... Actually, where even is their army? This is their army, okay. I might wait for them to send this, then destroy it, and then... make a push against their main base. Alternatively, if I push against their base now, it might... give me some, uh... Hmm. Some options. Oh, well, well, I guess they made our decision for us. I'll put my fire elementals up there because it seems like... It seems like... It seems like their annoying flyers are coming from there. We're gonna see... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. We're gonna see if we can maybe use 
pillar of fire. Okay. I'm trying to select the demon. What's your fire resistance? Pretty high, but not so high that that you're immune, which is the important thing. Now we are getting... See how long it takes, even with this barrage, just to kill a single unit because of their fire resistance. Right, I need you guys to be picking up more of the slack here. Alright. Now let's bust through and we don't have to worry about random imps along the way because we've got ranged units now. We need to take down their towers and be mindful of their doom knights. But now I think we, we are doing okay. Both of their doom knights are down. These units are also down, and now we are into their base. Okay. Fantastic. Now we just need to smash everything. Destroy every single thing. Fortunately, buildings don't really have resistances, so even though this tower is like shooting fireballs at us. It's still going to go down pretty quickly. Be wary of those harpies because they can steal our mana. And we want to be able to have enough mana in reserve to cast pillars of fire if necessary. Alright. A lot of towers. In fact, I, like, ooh, these towers in a circle feel like they would have been pre-placed. I don't think the enemy AI is, you know, very aesthetically inclined to build pretty looking bases, so I... My guess would be that those towers were there from before. Alright, alright, alright. We're doing okay. Wasted some of their resources by instantly destroying that tower. Wasted a lot of their progress by destroying that level 5 keep. And I think now we are on our way, uh, on our way to victory. Because it was really, really rough there for a, the first half an hour or so, but now, finally. Ooh, another huge attack. But this attack is going to run into our guys here. And we've got another group of Minotaur Shamans there ready to replace them, but let's see how well these guys can do. Oh, 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 this guy, before you die, please, pillar of fire. Oh, we need to take down their demons. Ooh, this is really rough. Really rough. Well, we kind of, kind of got through it. All right. Carry on smashing stuff with these guys. Ooh, fire resistance is really making this difficult. Oh, and another demon. But fortunately, we were able to take him down before he did any damage. Now we've got to destroy all of these. Uh, this is basically their barracks structure, where they get most of their units from. Your troops are under. And the more we destroy of them, the fewer they have left, and... Oh god. The fewer they have left, and the harder it'll be for them to quickly 
throw together another army. Alright. Now. Let's. Put the. Finishing touches on our assault. And okay. It's gonna be rough. Because they've got a long line of towers here. At this point, I think we got this. Don't really think there's anything left that they can do. They made life very difficult for us. In the end, we were able to hold on long enough to get far seeing, to get our Minotaur Shamans. Once again, literally fighting fire with fire, we have found a way to pull through and do it. Are we going to see a res resignation now, or are we going to have to destroy everything? Your troops are under attack. Where was our dwarf lord, the guy who gained a few levels? This guy. I'm gonna have him go around and destroy some buildings and towers and gain some levels. I hopefully want to take him into my retinue. Yeah, they've got no no builders left, no keeps left. They are they are done. Yeah, look at that. All that damage he did to that building. He might die, actually, because... Ooh, just barely survived. Okay. Go back, get some healing. And, uh... Actually, you know what? Uh, destroy uh, some mines. I'll do... I think it's... Shift... Click to set up waypoints. So I'll set up some attack waypoints on those mines, and then... And then go back to the base. Alright. Okay, now... <laughs> I guess we only needed the one group of Minotaur Shamans, and they were enough. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. <sighs> Alright. Let me see how long this recording has been going. 40 minutes. I, I will say it feels a lot longer. Well, more like 43 minutes. Feels... Feels a lot longer. Especially... The way things were... Uh, the beginning of this. It's really, really rough. Alright. So now I gotta give you some healing. And, you know what? Smash one more thing. That'll give you one more level. And once these Dwarf Lords gain levels, and especially once they gain speed, they actually become very, very useful units. They're not good against uh, demons, because the demon towers do a lot of damage to them. But against, against something like uh, humans or dwarves, if you can sneak one of these guys into their base, like a single Dwarf Lord could destroy their entire base, because... Uh, Because they aren't really damaged by normal uh, uh, projectiles, like arrows. So I'll do this thing. You saw me use this trick in uh, that one skirmish episode where uh, we 
We're getting our Archons back. If you want to give uh, a unit a series of orders, just hold Shift. You can give them orders to move. Uh, you can give them orders to attack. Giving them orders to attack a bunch of things in, uh, in progression is a great way to ha just, you know, set them on autopilot for a while. And this is a great way to grind up experience. Although I won't be doing it that much. I'm only doing it while I'm wrapping up this black enemy. And it looks like we're gonna have to destroy ev every single thing that he has. Uh, you're making some good progress. You're al already much faster than what you started out as. Which is really the key for those guys. Once they are quick, they are very, very useful. And of course, being generals, they can also convert mines, which uh, is the other thing to keep in mind. Right. And destroy that as well. And now I think we've just got to go north and take down this last group. Alright. Can we get you... I was gonna say, can we get you... We could... But then we would have to slow down a little bit. So you know what? Where, okay. Why are these guys so far behind? So, there must be three mines down here that we can destroy. Yes. One. Two. Three. We we'll wait for that guy to destroy those mines before we. <laughs> look, at that, look at this giant army. Fire, fire elementals as well. Wait for that guy to mosey on over and get just a little bit of experience. It'll be so disappointing if we can't take him into our retinue. So this might be a waste of time. I remember I tried this before with, I think, maybe moon guards or, or something, and they didn't show up as uh, recruitable units at the end. Surely this guy, soon to be level 6. Surely he's gonna show up at the end. Let's just let's just cross our fingers. And if it does turn out to be a waste of time, no big deal. Yeah, double damage versus buildings. Oh, and gained some really nice speed there. Now he's almost kind of quick. Well, at least we can say he's not slow anymore. And with the plus two speed from our morale bonus, he's actually moving at a pretty good pace. Now let's take down these last few enemies and put an end to this battle. Thing. After we take down these last two Doom Knights, well, no, there's there's one more shadow up there. Hard to see with the uh, rainy, overcast weather uh, we've got right now. But I think this should be the last enemy. And indeed, there we have the slow applause of victory. I didn't check what items they got. Let's see if this is any good. check what the other item was, but you know what, I'm not too worried. We did gain a level. Excuse me? 
Are you serious? The game crashed? How far behind were we? Oh my god. Oh! It... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, what happened? Glorious... Hang on, no, what? No. So we... Conquered Sunderdial, that was... Definitely registered. But I'm leaving because we didn't g gain the level. This is worrying. Like, is the game gonna crash every single time? Oof. Like, every single time we try to reach level 25? Because if that's the case, that's really bad. Because we didn't get a chance to see what the uh, retinue units were at the end. Oh man. Hopefully, that's not the case. Hopefully that's not the case, because that would be really bad. I'm just going to pop in just one last time. Yeah, and I don't know if we even got uh, our crowns. We may have, we may have. But yeah, no, that was very, very worrying. Very frightening. So, you know what? Let's for now assume that it's just a one-time glitch and next time when we take another one of these territories we'll probably in fact almost certainly we will have enough uh, experience to level up again, and if the game crashes again, then we'll know we're in trouble. But for now, let's assume... For now, let's assume that it's... That it's a, a one-time bug. But yeah, okay. It's a very... I don't know... Uh, like... I'm, I'm sorry, like I'm at a loss for words because I was expecting this to be a nice... You know, my usual happy end of episode, uh, you know, little monologue, but this has completely thrown me off. But you know what? We've just got to take things in stride. So, on that weird and unsettling note, which kind of ruined my enjoyment over the fact that we did take the Sunderdial, the uh, demon capital, and we can play as the demons now in further battles. Despite the fact that it was a bit of a weird anti-climax, let's just... Let's just take solace in the fact that, at least for now, the uh, campaign is still going, that the save file itself hasn't been glitched, and that, yeah, we're one step closer. We've taken Sundered Isle, and next time we're gonna be taking more of this stuff. Oh, and also, Sundered, uh, Sundered Isle was the last uh, thing in our, you know, take the whole left side of the screen uh, milestone. So if we draw a line through the center of this map, then everything to the west belongs to us, and a few things on the east as well, but one entire side of the map is ours, and that that is a cool, cool uh, development, regardless of the fact that the game might be glitched, but we'll find that out for sure in the next episode. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, hope you had a good time, hope you'll join me in the next episode, and until then, take care.